Hello, in this video we will describe our intuitive e-signature tool, EasySign. EasySign helps you turn any PDF document into a secure online digital signing experience for your customers and employees. With EasySign, you'll improve employee productivity and make your business run faster. EasySign is accessible through our platform. Let's describe its structure. It consists of three taps, Add Documents, Invite Signers, and Edit Documents. Add Documents is the first tab that will appear by default when accessing EasySign. It's used for uploading the PDF documents that will be defined and sent to the signers. The second tab, Invite Signers, is used for adding signees and configuring additional options. By default, the tab contains information about the form creator that will receive email notifications about the progress of the signing process. After adding two or more signers, you can rearrange the order in which they'll receive the process link for signing, or allow parallel signing, meaning all the signers will receive the process link at once. In addition, you can enable or disable the co-browsing option for the form creator. Let's move on to the last tab, Edit Documents. Using this tab, we define the fields the signers will use to provide information and e-signatures. The tab contains tools for different PDF fields. Let's explain. If you want to define a field that a signer will use to provide textual information, such as first and last name, you'll use the text input field marker. Moving on to define radio question options on top of the PDF, you'll use the radio button field marker. And lastly, to define a field for e-signatures, you'll use the signature field marker. Clicking a field marker that was deployed on a PDF displays its properties section. Let's describe the most common ones. First, required. When this property is checked, the field becomes mandatory. Next, can be completed by. This dropdown enables you to assign a specific signer to the field, meaning that for the rest of the signers, the field will appear as read-only. And finally, setting a font size. After you uploaded a document, added signers, and defined PDF fields, you can initiate the signing process by clicking Send. Emails with links to the process will be received by the form creator and the signers. When the link is clicked, the document will appear with the fields as you defined them. Once the process is over, notification emails will be sent to all parties involved. That's it for now. Have any questions? Need support? Please contact one of our teams.